sugar, yeast, and the little jars. Yes. That is the three ingredients in water. Now, really, when we're doing the mash, we're going to warm up a pot of water, stir that corn until it gets soft, almost like a porridge or cream corn. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to pour that into our barrel. Yeah. We're going to pour that into our barrel. Uh, we're going to add our sugar while it gets warm. All stir it off, fill our water up until the barrel's full. And then the yeast goes in once everything's cooled down. You know, 80, 9 degrees, then you can get your yeast. So you don't want to kill it with the heat. And then your yeast needs 10 to 14 days to actually process all those sugars and free up the alcohol. So once the mash is ready to cook, it should be, it's like beer kind. It's like a 5%, 10%. Now with modern yeast, like distiller's yeast, instead of red yeast, you can even get like 15 to 20%. Well, the higher the percentage of that beer, the more yield you will get when you're distilling. Because ultimately, like, if you have 55 gallons of mash at 10%, you're going to make five gallons of moonshine. That's it. Now, if you say five percent, you're going to make two and a half gallons. You know? So that's the, the basic prep, and then this is the best. Later, I will ask you all the things. This part, this too. Sorry. No, I know you're busy. Always, always.